Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Vonna Brooke, and today we are going to do my highly requested curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoy. Keep on watching. Today we are starting with straightened hair. It's probably almost two weeks old, uh, which is usually how long I keep my hair straight. It's like two weeks at a time. And my scalp is usually so over me at this point. It needs a detox. My scalp gets pretty dry, um, but I also sweat a lot. Like my hair is like clearly sweat out. Um, that's usually why I know it's time to do my hair. So I'm using the Scalp Detox by Acton Aker. And uh, it's moisturizing, but it also loosens loosens up all the like dirt and build up oil on your scalp. I really, really like it because it doesn't leave your hair stripped. Um, and then I get in the shower. I like to keep my water pretty hot when I'm shampooing, but not too, too hot. So I also use the Actin Acre um, hair cleanser. I think it's really, really gentle. My hair like, like shampoo. Um, like for defined curls, I have to shampoo it. So um, I give it a nice lather. I really take my time, especially after straightening because it's just been a while. And then I go in with my first conditioner. I always use two conditioners. One that's kind of like my slip conditioner, use it to detangle. Today I'm using the one from JVN. It's their undamaged conditioner. After I straighten my hair, everything is about damage control. I just wanna keep my curls nice and intact. So uh, I also use uh, the Amika hair mask. I use this all the time, y'all. I swear it's in every one of my curly hair routines. I, it's just the best hair mask I've ever used. My hair loves it. The smell is incredible. It's quick. It's easy. I always recommend it. Then I get out, I dry with my towel, and then I start my weave-in. I only use K18 either before and after I use heat on my hair. So, um that is the leave-in treatment i know there's all these crazy rules about it but i just use it as like a leave-in conditioner and it really works and keeps my curls intact even when i straighten my hair and then i put my towel back on because you do have to leave it in for four minutes um so i just put my towel back on and kind of just let it air dry for a little bit Okay, now it's time for styling products. I start with my smoothing balm. This is great for anti-humidity and moisture. Um, I like to make sure that I'm putting a lot of product everywhere. Like I get really close to my roots, especially the back. I notice my hair looks wild in the back. Like look around your hair and sometimes you can tell where you're missing putting product. So more is more when it comes to curly hair. I always try to use um, not even quite a bit of product, but enough so all of my hair is evenly coated. And then it'll be time for curl cream. Um, so there's two that I like. I like the Amika Curl Corpse. I also like the Don't Shrink by Aunt Jackie's. Both of these I've used for years. I love them. Um, it really just depends what I'm going for that day or that week. Um, I like Amika for more of like a fluffy look and then, or if I'm doing like overnight styling and then I like Aunt Jackie's for more of like my wash and go. Um, so I'm actually gonna braid my hair overnight. I like to do two braids, kind of just like, literally just two braids. Like I do them upside down. Like I flip my head over and do two braids. So that's why they look really janky, but it gives me a lot of volume. My last curly hair routine kind of goes into detail about that braiding. And then I put on a hair serum. This is just to break the cast. Um, I also love the way it smells. It adds a lot of shine and moisture and bounce. It's just a really good hair serum. I always go back to it. Um, and then I go in with my diffuser. I've had this diffuser forever. It's just, I love it. It's nice and big and it works. My hair is not really wet at that moment, but I needed to you know, make sure that nothing was still damp. Then I fluff and I add my styling oil. This is Olaplex. I really like this oil. Um, it adds shine and it's great for styling, but it also really does make your hair feel a lot healthier as well. So I add that in and just really fluff up my hair. It's nice and light so I don't lose any volume. Again, we just play with it, honestly, and just kind of figure out how I want it that day. Am I going to do my edges, whatever, who knows, but I'm kind of just going for that loose sexy look so more fluff the better and there you go that's the final look these are my more like 
sexy messy curls um more playful and i hope you guys enjoy let me know what you want to see next Bye.